God is always with us. He's always with you. And I hope, if it means that you would get this at a totally new level, I hope that you can't sleep tonight. I hope that it really kind of keeps you up. Um, and then I hope that you can do some of this stuff of walking with Jesus and, and talking with him and asking for his help in, in the mundane stuff of life because uh, he's here and he's near and he's really interested in you. And, uh, he, you know, you don't have to be afraid of being lonely ever. And I think that's one of the best things that we can, we can share with, with the whole world. Even like those guys in the video that we were, we were watching before. Um, yes, someone's whispering at me. Question. What about Tom? Tom? What about Tom? Oh, it's... Ah. <laughs> You're onto it. Yes. No. Uh, well, you are. You are onto it. But what I, what I was going to say with Tom being a volunteer up on the front is, imagine if, imagine if, like I said, hey. What are you doing tomorrow night? Why don't you come over to my house? And you, you come over to my house, and I kind of I open the door, and I say, hey man, how's it going? And I shut the door as you come in, and then I just totally ignore you. And I just, I just go and do what I'm doing, and you're just kind of left sitting on my couch. What, what sort of a host would I be? Pretty crap one. I would be a terrible host. I need to get get you a drink and say good day and have a chat and maybe get you a snack to eat or a meal if that's what was going on. And, but is, can you imagine inviting someone into your house and just ignoring them? You wouldn't do it. So the, the main thing, the reason why I got Tom up here was so that you guys would get this idea of you know Jesus is always with us, and if we're not if we're not talking with him and walking with him, it's kind of like we're just ignoring him. So, you're kind of like Jesus, okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, Jesus is cooler than Tom? And the rest. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this raises some questions for you. Like, if heaven's all around us, what about after death? What, what's that? Where is, where is heaven? You know, I hope it makes you think a bit more and hopefully you can have some of those discussions with your Ignite leaders and with your mates and with anyone else. So, how about I have a pray and lead us in prayer and um, we'll take things from there. So would you please practice the presence of Jesus with me? Let's pray. Lord, thank you that it's just so clear in, in the Bible that this is your world and you made it and you're here. This is like your house and you're here. Thanks that we all get this amazing chance to live our lives with you. Lord, I want to pray for myself and for all these guys here and for the other guys that haven't rocked up tonight. I pray, Lord, that you would not be someone for them who is far off or someone that they don't think about until their deathbed, but I pray, Lord, for the joy of your presence and that everyone would have a sense of your nearness and your love for them and the way that we are all here because you wanted us. You, like. We all exist because you wanted us to be here and to share in your life. Thanks, Lord. Amen. Amen. Everyone, give it up for June.